One day people hate them and the next they love them. It's so hard to keep up with the Kardashian Jenner sometimes, but just a few months ago, people were freaking out over the rumors of Kendall Jenner dating Bad Bunny. Once it was confirmed by the two of them being spotted out together, people were even more upset and it got both Bad Bunny and Kendall a ton of hate. Fans of his expressed disappointment as they felt him dating someone in this family was something that was confusing as they seemed to represent something that they didn't think he stood for as many have described the sisters as culture vultures. People also expressed how they felt that the two had absolutely nothing in common and just couldn't comprehend the two of them getting along or communicating in any way. But now it seems like things have taken a turn and people are actually liking the two of them together. I know. It's kind of shocking given all the backlash that came in the beginning, but when I say that the Kardashian Jenner sisters dating drama is messy, I mean it. Because one day it's a horrible life ruining thing for people to find out, and then the next they're shipping the two of them together for life. It's all over the place it seems, and that's what makes it so messy. But yes, some people have recently admitted that even though Kendall and Bad Bunny may not be their favorite couple, the two of them are quite cute in some of the recent videos of them together. In a recent Instagram story posted by Bad Bunny himself, he was walking with Kendall and told her to be careful, and honestly, people were eating it up. Come here, come here. Hey. Mommy, be careful. Rabies? The mosquitoes. Yeah. The video was re-uploaded by many on TikTok, and this is when I really started seeing the reactions towards them start to shift with people commenting saying, I really like that he's being gentle and you can tell he really does care for her. Look, I don't care as long as he's happy, so be it. Didn't expect this side of him after all the ish he be saying in his songs, so cute. Wait, it was cute how he said that to her. They are so cute, love them. And this comment got tons of likes. So people agree that they're cute and they love them, which is just so surprising. They were also recently spotted at the Drake concert and people were loving the videos of them together there with tons of comments on TikToks reacting to the videos of them saying, this is the happiest I've seen her be with someone as far as what the media shows. I was hating at first, but I can't anymore. They're so cute. The fact that they are at a concert and they are in their own little world says a lot. The chemistry is real. People are still going to hate, but this is so cute. Okay, they're getting to me. They're hella cute. They're so cute. People be haters for real. Wait, cause Bad Bunny never been this open about his relationships before, left us purposely wondering always. He's happy and in love. People just need to get over it. So obviously things have taken a huge turn and the public is way more accepting of them together and loving them together kind of. And I think their relationship somehow made things a little less dramatic for when Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet decided to hard launch their relationship this past week at the Beyonce show. Yes, these two were boldly spotted in public together for the first time. Now I'll tell you what isn't happening for the first time, and that is that Adam and Eve is sponsoring today's video. You guys like that transition, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've talked to you guys about Adam and Eve before plenty of times. I love Adam and Eve. They've been a longtime supporter of my channel since the very beginning, and they have a code for you guys to use. If you use code SPILLY, you will get 50% off one item, plus free shipping in the US and Canada. Some exclusions do apply. They offer 24 seven customer service, 90 day no hassle returns, and they donate a percentage of their profit to fight the spread of HIV around the world. So once again, use code SPILLY to get 50% off one item, plus free shipping in the US and Canada. Some exclusions do apply. And thank you to Adam and Eve for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into the Kardashian Jenner news. I think people were so shocked by the Kendall and Bad Bunny pairing that hearing about Kylie and Timmy was kind of just like, you're kidding, like not another unexpected pairing. But at the same time, made it easier for people to process. Since they already thought that Kendall and Bad Bunny was random, another random pairing was just kind of like, oh my gosh, here we go again. But wasn't so like out of the blue, oh my God. That isn't to say that some people aren't surprised by it, but I just feel like it was a little less of a surprise because the other one was also just so random to people. And I feel like that sounds kind of weird because who cares? These are just two people and it's not that deep. But people do have these expectations and ideas about celebrities, especially their favorite celebrities. And hearing who they date and seeing them in public non-work settings like 
not a red carpet or not them acting in a movie might not align with this image that they have of them in their head, which yes, it sounds weird, but also, I think it's just kind of become a norm in our society because celebrities are a thing. And I mean, this happens with non-celebrities too, where you have this image of someone in your head, but then they're not that way in real life when you meet them and it kind of maybe will alter your opinion on them. For example, like if you meet someone on a dating app, you have this certain way that you're visualizing them. And then when you see them in person, if they don't live up to that, then you might not like them or like be into them in that same way. And I feel like that's kind of similar with celebrities where you see them in the movies and you see them like on Instagram and stuff and you're like oh my gosh I bet they're so nice and this and this and this and then I don't know you see like a interview of them you don't like what they say and then you're like oh everything is thrown off or for example when Bad Bunny and Kendall came out people had this image of Bad Bunny in their head and the things that he stood for and everything and then to see him with Kendall they were just really thrown off by that so this whole like people can be different in your head versus in real life, it definitely happens to celebrities and it happens to non-celebrities as well. Just when it comes to celebrities, backlash can be evolved. But like I was saying, I do think that because people thought it was such an odd pairing to see Kendall and Bad Bunny together made it way less weird for Timmy and Kylie when they got together. And I mean, the two of them have been rumored to be hanging out for months, but hadn't been spotted out in public, unlike Kendall and Bad Bunny had been when their dating rumors swirled around. Kylie and Timmy had sort of posted some sort of subtle hints as some people felt like Kylie was taking some of Timothy's Instagram photos recently, and he had maybe taken some of hers because they seemed to be in the same location in some of the recent photos. But there were a lot of people still skeptical because it really wasn't like there was a solidified photo of the two of them hanging out in public or something like that. There were some random like backyard get together photos, but it just wasn't anything that people could really believe. And like Bad Bunny and Kendall, some people in the beginning just couldn't even picture the two of them really getting together because of the fact that they seemed kind of different, but it wasn't in a hateful way. It wasn't like how Kendall was getting so much hate and Bad Bunny was getting so much hate from just pointed fans. When it came to Kylie and Timmy, people were just like, I don't really know. I don't really see it. And someone on TikTok even mentioned that they imagined Timmy to be much younger than Kylie or something, just given that she's the mother, a businesswoman, and Timmy is this young, hot actor. And they just visualize them in their heads differently in terms of age, even though Timmy is older than Kylie by a year and some change. So it's just funny how people have such an idea about a celebrity and they don't even know them, but all the little crumbs that we get from the media and little public appearances and social media posts have people visualizing someone in such a different light than they might actually be. And this is like what I was saying earlier, but I do think that the hard part about being in the public eye sometimes as an actor can be that people will associate you with roles that you take on and they imagine you as the person you're playing. So when you do something in real life that doesn't quite match up to the image everyone has in their heads, it just throws people off. And I think with Timothy Chalamet, people are envisioning him as like Lori from Little Women. And then he's with Kylie Jenner and people are like, what? What would Lori be doing with Kylie Jenner? Like, what are you talking about? But I think those that actually do follow Timothy Chalamet quite closely do kind of see how it would have been a somewhat easy connection for him to be connected to Kylie Jenner because they do actually have similar friends. He was literally at Kid Cudi's birthday dinner that is now just funny because everyone except for Kid Cudi in this photo that Kim took has dated a Kardashian Jenner sister. So they have mutual friends and Timmy hasn't been shy about the kind of music he likes. And it seems rather similar to the songs Kylie is always sharing on social media. So, I mean, all in all, we don't really know these people. And that is something that I think was not a conversation when Bad Bunny and Kendall got together was that people were just like, they are so different. This is so weird. Meanwhile, this time around, when video surfaced of Timothy and Kylie at the Beyonce show, people were actually defending that people just don't know them at all with someone commenting, people judge this, but we really don't know anything that's going on with them and how they make each other feel. 
Others expressed that they were living for the duo, even if they felt that they were different, saying, this feels like a crossover episode. I don't know, I kind of love it. Wait, I kind of love this. They are completely different people and I love it for them. So even those that maybe felt like they were different, were loving it. And obviously there were those comments of people not liking them together or thinking that it was weird, but a majority of the reactions have been people happy to see that they're happy together. So clearly when it comes to the Kardashian Jenners in their relationship, it's no telling what the public will think. It's always a little bit of drama, a lot of mess, but somehow in the end, it kind of always works out positively for them. And I don't mean like every relationship is like the best and like they don't break up because obviously that's not true. We've seen the breakups and things like that. But I just mean like, even if there's drama or backlash in the beginning, it usually fizzles out and people end up kind of liking the relationships. I mean, even when Kim and Pete got together in the beginning, people were like, oh my God, no. And then all of a sudden more posts of them came out. People actually started thinking that they were cute together so it's always some sort of messy game of a reaction and honestly with Kanye too when Kanye first started dating Kim he got a lot of backlash for it because people didn't want him to be dating this reality star and she got so much hate but let me know what you guys thought about the reactions and the fact that it's kind of switched up from the original hater energy to this positive ooh they're so cute together energy towards Kendall and Bad Bunny and do you think it kind of made it easier for Kylie and Timothy to come out about their relationship? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.